Glad I brought gloves. I love how the frost from these trees stays because it's in the shade. Went on a hike yesterday with my parents that uh, it was probably 3 p.m. and there was still tons of frost all over the ground where the shade was. that I bring some duck skin gloves. You know, I've eaten a fair amount of ducks in my time. I never really thought about their skin as clothing. I'm not sure if these are actually made out of duck skin. Whatever they are, nice and warm. I was told by my family members that this trail is mainly for ATVs. Is that glass? I wish I had a wish I had a bag to pick that up. But uh, apparently this trail is mainly for ATVs. As you can tell, obvious tire paths, but I've seen some foot traffic along here, I've seen some boot prints, some deer prints, some coyote scat, so obviously a pretty well used trail. go start and get a good view of the bay one of the many bays yep so about 99% sure that's coyote scat which i would believe it this is perfect sort of area for him I think that is the stone fortress right over there. Right up on top of that little block. There's someone's house. Right over there. I was not expecting that. Did not see that on Google Earth before I started this walk. keeps going this way but I need to go over there so we're gonna follow this for a little bit more and I might have to hike up the hill and do some uh, do some bushwhacking probably put up the drone and see if I can find a better path oh try this way for a little bit more all right good looks like we're gonna start to snake back up towards the hill again I'm 99% sure I know I'm 99% sure on a lot of things that road right there goes to the castle that's right over here on this side of the lake. I thought it was a lot further than from where I stopped driving, but I couldn't quite tell you. I'm looking for some of the parapets. I see some rock walls over there, but I still can't quite tell. Lots of coyote scout here. Yeah, that looks like the fortress right there. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
Well, the winds are pretty squirrely up here, so I don't think I'm going to get any FPV footage. Even this poor little drone, which can handle a lot of wind, has been getting thrown around pretty hard. So I think we're going to go ahead and bring it in here for a landing. Alright, well, as much as I'd like to stay up here and adventure some more and get some FPV footage, between the wind and me rapidly running out of time before we need to start heading home, I think it's best that I start heading back to the car. As much as I would like to hike around, continue down this bluff, uh, it's just not in the cards for today. So I think I'm going to come out here another time, actually bring some food and shelter with me, and who knows, maybe I'll go camp out there on that bluff. We'll see. One of my dream hikes is to start off in my cabin and hike from there all the way around the perimeter of the lake, even if I don't go all the way out to that bluff all the way out there at least hop over hike along the shore or hike along trails somewhere over here and try and get to the next town over which is spalding or even get to the next um uh, all the way down to the get all the way down to the south end of the lake where they have the um boat launch and everything where the water's a lot deeper see if i can even do some fishing and whatnot because it's a little too dry up here for us to launch a boat still i mean it's a little too frozen now too, but that's besides the point. I think I'm gonna, before I start heading down, hop over here and swap out batteries on everything and uh, start my way back. You gotta love juniper berry trees and spruce brush to enjoy this area, but they're probably two of my favorite, <laughs> completely job blank, two of my favorite plants. Why did animals come to mind? Uh, Need to go on vacation more. As much as I'd like to go down this way, there's a barbed wire fence over here. It's going to be much easier to just get down this way. This will be a nice little shelter spot right here. Sit down and uh, have a little fire. Nice little shelter from the wind. Not much of a place where I'd be able to make a little cooking fire, but if I had my stove with me, I'd be able to heat up some water, make some pine needle tea that I never got, never stopped getting made fun of for making. Oh well. So I'm trying to go hiking a lot more for a couple different reasons. The first, obviously, obviously, is I love being out in nature and haven't had much of a chance to really do that over the last couple of years. I mean, I was an Eagle Scout, I'm an Eagle Scout. I uh, have been to Canada twice on the Batron Lake Circuit. I've hiked up Snow Mountain in California multiple times. I've done the last and the last and done all sorts of trips, but just between en enlisting and then coming home and being super busy on the farm, being married, having kids, all of that, just I don't have as much time to just go and wander into woods as I would like, which is unfortunate because Holy smokes, this does so much good for your mental health. I haven't felt so good as I did yesterday after my parents and I finished hiking up this uh, little trail over here, and I haven't forever. So I'm trying to force myself to do it a bit more because I tend to be a lot more of a home buddy than I'd like to admit. It's easy for me to just sit at home and relax, not do much or even focus on chores and everything around the house or unfortunately just staring at my phone. So yeah, trying to get out here, A, to just relax more, get out in nature more. I'm gonna work on starting to do some overnight trips and I'm really focusing on making it so I can bring the drone and GoPro with me on long stays and recharge it either via thermal or solar power while I'm out, on the, out in the bush, so. Here's hoping. Another reason I'm trying to do this is I am working on getting certified up to become a class one, class one, type one. I'm focusing on becoming a type one search and rescue member, which means I am able to be self-sufficient out in the woods for 72 hours and be able to hike in high altitudes for long periods of time 
without resupply, without rest, to try and find people that are lost in the mountains. Because I would love to be able to combine uh, being a type 1 searcher who can be out for long periods of time with my search and rescue drones to find people out in the woods and whatnot. But admittedly, I am not in the greatest of shape as I was, even so much as last year. But we're working on that. So everything's a work in progress. was lost in the woods on the dust and the fairies found me and they led the way they cleared the way to my home all the hurt all the pain under the skin I had fainted They carried me, they clear the way to my heart. Thank you. Another complete stranger And he robbed away Taking most of me when he left When Mama told me To keep far from these underhanded men And I'd be Whiter than the side of a new red bride. Oh, thank you.
right, well, that was a hell of a lot of fun. I uh, wish I had a couple more hours, because I would have kept going. But, alas, duty calls, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.